Hey guys, welcome to another episode. First of all, thank you to everybody who reached out to me and to ask how I was doing. I'm fine. Uh, my sense of smell seems to be coming back a little bit, so I'm happy to put this uh, this ordeal behind me and get back to doing some dog videos. Um, so today I wanted to talk about something that um, is unique to, I believe, sight hounds, and it's really about the bodily awareness of the dogs. You know. I find a lot of people are intimidated by getting a large breed. Uh, technically, Borzois are giant breeds, and they can be really, really big, especially the males, you know, 105 pounds, very, very tall, big animals. A lot of people are worried about a dog that size in their home, given, you know, are they going to knock into things? Are they going to bang into stuff? Are they going to tear apart my furniture, run around the house? You know, one thing that is unique to especially Borzois, is that they're extremely bodily aware. And I didn't really realize what that meant until I owned one, but, you know, they're aware of where their body is as they move through space. I've never really felt like Esper or Aura was going to knock into me, take my legs out, you know, bang into me, that sort of thing. They're really aware of where they're moving. Uh, and, you know, having both these dogs in our house, we never, they don't have problems knocking stuff over, knocking stuff, you know, glasses and that sort of thing. They're very, very delicate. Uh, and it's really funny because when we first got Esper, we went to this, I don't know, kind of schmancy outdoor party. And just to show you how precise they can be, Esper was on one side of this glass table full of everybody's drinks. And she really wanted to get to the other side to go play with this German shepherd that was at the party. So... We looked away for a second, and she jumped over the table, just touched in the middle, not knocking any glasses, and jumped over. So everybody, including us, were just absolutely shocked at how agile and precise they can be, at least physically. And you can see this, you know, when they're even when you're running around with them outside, if they're coming running towards you, they're not going to bang into you. They'll either turn around you or narrowly miss you. I found the only times that I've ever been clipped by Esper Aura or times when I've tried to get out of the way and walked into where they were going. So uh, I just want to allay people's fears about getting a large dog and bringing it to their house. They're really very, very, very easy in spaces that, you know, you have a lot of furniture and we have a lot of like tchotchkes and stuff. It's something that's great about the breed and their temperament where they, they aren't big chewers and they're not clumsy by any means. They're very goofy, but not necessarily clumsy. So, gonna keep doing videos. I uh, Keep up with the comments. Anything you guys want addressed or talked about about owning a Borzoi, let me know. Uh, I'll try to get onto that topic for you. Thank you guys again for all the outpouring of support. Didn't expect it as much as I got it, and uh, I very much appreciate it, and I am on the mend, if not completely better. So, thank you guys, and I'll see you again soon.